Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're reacting to Oliver Anthony's Richmond, North of Richmond. And I know that there has been a lot of reactions to this already, a lot of media hype, and we're going to add to the reactions because it's us. All right, here we go. Well, I've been selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours for bullshit pay, so I can sit out here and waste my life away. Drag back home and drown my troubles away. It's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for people like me, people like you. Wish I could just wake up and it not be true, but it is. Oh, it is living in the new world with an old soul. These rich men know the rich men. this guy i mean i think america loves this guy yeah the establishment hates him and the government doesn't like him yeah but he hit a it. string is what he did he hit it just so happened to be it's the truth that he well you know what's funny is i watched a rogan thing with him yeah where he was he was on rogan and he was saying he's like he's like this was not he's like of the songs i wrote you know i just write these songs and i put them out there he this wasn't the song that he thought was going to be the one he, he was like this is just a song. It just so happened to be that it struck a chord. Right song at the right time during the right era. Well, timing's everything. Uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, he's thinking about your dollar ain't worth shit. And, uh, you know, and they're talking about our government, the big preach on inflation. So what do they do? They raise interest rates. And who's that hurt? No. Middle class. Bro. Middle class. People, yeah. people are using credit cards to pay some of their bills, right? Because everything's yeah. so expensive and their wages haven't caught up to them because everybody's wages haven't caught up to them. Mm -hmm. I happen to be in the construction industry, which is, uh, which uh, we were at least finally catching up to 40 years of really stagnant wages, if mm -hmm. you will. But uh, the inflation is eating all the extra money that people think that they're making right now. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, and uh, and why is that? Well, where, where's that money going? Well, let's go right back to where it was at the beginning. Yep. And, yep. Well, it's, very well, it, and it's even worse on the money note. Everybody forgets that Joe Biden passed the greatest tax hike in the history of the United States of America. And everybody's like, That's well, wait a, a second. Lot. He didn't have a bill that raised taxes. He didn't do he, right. he only did. What was it that caused tax. the taxes raise? Well, Congress is supposed to do that. Actually. Well, right. But you know how, you know, you know, they, they know how it goes. the president comes up with a some kind of a tax Budget. legislation that right. you know he's going to pass through congress right but but he never did do that right yeah but he did mm -hmm. when he started passing all the stimulus and all that money got dumped into the market that caused what mm -hmm. it caused inflation We're suffering from it today okay then what happened wages went up they did go up they went up a lot mm -hmm. but what didn't what did not come down to match the amount of inflation our tax brackets that's right so we have right now what you know we do the the, the staircase tax brackets right you know zero to right. twenty two thousand or whatever it is for a married couple yeah. don't pay taxes zero to twelve thousand for a single and then it's from twenty two thousand to like ninety thousand for a, a single person and then it's up to like a hundred and fifty thousand for a couple and then it goes up to like four hundred thousand well the national average prior to the inflation was about 40,000 or so, 42,000, 43,000 before the big inflation move. Then when the big inflation move happened and the wages started, the, the, the economists and a lot of you know people that follow the financial world call it the wage spite, the wage price inflation spiral. It's where one goes up, the other one goes up, one goes up, the other one, and they never get to stabilize. Well, one went up and the wages went up. The wages went up to where now the national average for income for a household is like sixty two thousand now, sixty three thousand, which is almost twenty grand that's more. That's a thirty an hour. That's a thirty percent increase in wages across the board 
in the United States where you're like, well, yeah, but we don't feel it. You're right. You don't feel it. It feels worse now. Guess why? Taxes. Taxes never went down. So you're being taxed at the same rates. But but over here, Mm -hmm. which means that so if they really wanted you to feel like you're not, you know, that you're making more money, the tax needs to be dropped, but it's not. So what basically what happened is now everybody, including the poorest of people, are paying middle class taxes. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, you know, uh, Teddy Roosevelt, he was known as the trust buster, if you will, because he was really on the corporations because they had. He had like company towns and you know, like say say you work for a company well that town that yeah there's a reason De- real estate, there's a reason detroit the, is called automotive town right they built the houses and then yeah. they had owned the store so everything every dollar that those employees made went right back into the company through another right. channel through the grocery store or whatever yeah. it happens to be and uh and reality what's happened is our government has become that that yeah that, a monopoly and uh, and they and they play it with the Fed. Uh, uh, you, you just think about uh, on that same note you were talking, Mac, is that uh, your your property values increase. Somebody say an elderly couple and they're on Social Security and say they owned a house and they uh, and their their house was valued at three hundred thousand uh, dollars mm-hmm. ten fifteen years ago and uh, now that house is worth six hundred seven hundred maybe eight hundred thousand dollars and. Uh, yep. But they're, they're paying they're about virtually they're paid about eight to nine thousand dollars where I live. Their property taxes, taxes have gone through the roof, mm-hmm. and uh, and so their income hasn't gone through it because if they're on retirement, they're in their their retirement from the yeah. company they retired from. If they did, they were so lucky to retire isn't going up, and uh, social security and all that's certainly not going to go up to compete with inflation. Right. It, it didn't. It would have doubled, and uh, so what it does it puts them in a spot to have to sell their home. And, yep. uh, and and I'll say this: I, I'm in New Hampshire, and uh, there's a lot of 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 of, of need for uh, ho- homes on the market to be put on the market to sell, and rental huge. And rentals are crazy expensive for mm-hmm. everybody apartments, but they're built in bunches of apartment buildings. But they you know for a one bedroom apartment, you know two thousand twenty five hundred bucks a month, whatever it happens to be. I mean, we're talking New Hampshire, and. Uh, but people can't buy houses. They would buy houses, but they can't buy them because Interest there's nothing too for sale. High and the price is too high and there's nothing for sale. Yeah. And the thing, and you think on this is if you sell, you sell your house and uh, I, I'm not sure, I think it's two years still, you have to dump your money back into another property before you get nailed on capital gains. Uh, if you 1031 exchange, if it's an investment property, yeah. you get nine months. I don't know about just individual I think sale. your house. Sure. Your own your own residence. I think I, it used to be two years. And I mean, I, I should know it, but uh, but whatever is uh, if you can't find a place to buy, right, and dump your money back into it, is then you end up getting into capital gains tax. Yep. And so then the government comes in yet again, right, and snatches yeah. another big chunk of your money. And uh, uh, it's uh, uh, it's it's a crazy crazy mm-hmm. time, a crazy market, and uh, 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 and I. I and we've got to really be careful economically uh, that uh, that we don't get caught in it. I'm, right. And uh, and there's a good chance we we I mean, if the economy dumps, we all get caught in it. But uh, these boneheads in Washington raising interest rates and stuff, saying they want to cool the economy, it, it, they're lying for one. Yeah. And uh, uh, they want they want to uh, they want to drop prices down and stuff. Start drilling for oil. Start start digging coal. Right, and you, right. want, you want to do that? You can start dropping a lot of the pricing down, and because uh, manufacturing costs will drop, and uh, and quit subsidizing companies, quit subsidizing uh, people who won't work, and uh, yeah. because the only people who aren't working right now, for the most part, unless they're in a in a in a really bad situation, they can have a mental handicap or a physical handicap that could keep them from working, and uh, uh, is is uh, but most people, there's no reason for them not to be working somewhere because everybody's hiring. Right. And uh, uh, and uh, so, but the government needs to get out of it. When the government got into the student ho- student loans for colleges, that's what screwed up the, the cost of tuition. And yep. then now they're they're involved in everything else. I don't mm-hmm. think the government should allow you should give you a tax write off for the interest on your home. What business is it of theirs to subsidize the bank? Because that's what they're doing. Right. And uh, that stuff should stop. They should and lower the taxes. 
Right. You know, <laughs> just they the just taxes. want the money. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and uh, then they, they steal it from you. And then they act like they're giving you a deal if they cut you a little bit back. And this right. guy's touching on that. And, right. uh, and a lot of other things, obviously. And, right. uh, uh, and his and, timing is perfect. Could not yeah. be more perfect. Here we go. I wish politicians would look out for miners and not just miners on an island somewhere. Lord, we got folks in the street, ain't got nothing to eat, and the whole beast milking welfare. Is keep on kicking them down. Lord, it's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for people like me, people like you. Wish I could just wake up and it not be true, but it is. Oh, it is living in the new world with an old soul. These rich men know the rich men. you do and they don't think you know but i know that you do because your dollar ain't shit and it's taxed to no end cause the rich men know the rich men been selling my soul working all day overtime hours for bullshit pay amen brother amen amen mm -hmm. what a what a what a magnificent lyricist he is and uh he uh, you know, I, I watched it. I've been, I've been building a long time. I was in California at Los Angeles when I started. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I started, my carpenters all could buy brand new pickups and, uh, and some of them custom painted yeah. pickups, you know, in the late seventies and they owned houses and, uh, they that was went a good vacation. era for carpentry. They went actually. on vacation and these were the carpenters, right? Mm -hmm. And, uh, my laborers made good money back then. And uh, I, I watch it and I used to use this comparison a lot as the increasing of home prices and vehicle prices versus the wage increase of those mm -hmm. very same carpenters. And, and they stagnated. And yeah. uh, then you end up with carpenters who who would uh, uh, have ratty old beat up trucks, didn't own a house or, or renting. And yep. uh, and what happened in L.A. is uh, in my is is in my personal experience, this is I mean, the the personal experience is is we had a lot of illegals come in and mm -hmm. and contractors you have to be licensed in los and An california as a general contractor i had a big framing company yeah and uh is uh, they would hire illegals and then cash them out not cover any comp workers comp or any of that stuff on them and they were paying them substandard wages because they're coming from mexico in the time you know if i was paying a guy 16 bucks an hour at that time they'd get a guy at six and uh right. not that they knew anything but they would slap stuff together. It was terrible work, a lot of it. And, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, they would they would take up swallow up all the contracts. And the only what happened is it drove the wages down. I couldn't bid a job against them and get it because I'm paying guys sixteen bucks an hour, or whatever it happened to be, and uh, uh, who are paying a mortgage, paying their taxes, got kids in school, you know, own a home, and uh, so I would have to. I couldn't I couldn't compete with them. So they drove us out. You know, the right. guys. Either they started higher illegals, which undid the American carpenters, and uh, and uh, and this is probably across the board on all the trades. Right. And uh, so I, I left, and that's actually how I ended up eventually in New England. And uh, right. but I see it happening now, and uh, there's all there's a lot of illegals. And I, call me a racist and say that oh man you're profiling. Well, let me tell you, when you got a bunch of Hondurans and uh, and uh, 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 Mexicans and such that uh, don't speak any English whatsoever, and they're up here working, and uh, uh, and there's eight or ten of them riding in a van to a job. Is uh, 
I guarantee you there's something illegal going on there. Mm -hmm. And what they do is, yeah. is they, they suppress the economy. And uh, and this is why him saying with his wages, you know, he's, he's working overtime, right? And he's not getting shit, you know, right? And yeah. uh, and he's working, he's willing to work. So then what happens to guys like that in the, in the reality is, is they, they either have to change into a business that if they can, if there's something that they can make a living at and take care mm -hmm. of their family, or they just give up. Yeah, and that's that, and, that's uh, a big one. It's burnout. Yeah, and we've got a lot of that. Give up, and because uh, yeah. the trades right now are making really good money, but you can't find good trades because a lot of them washed out. Yeah. And uh, and uh, and you know whose fault that is? Our governments. Mm -hmm. They're they're supporting this. They're supporting like mad right now. They're shipping New York just as they what they said they had like sixty to a hundred thousand illegals that they've shipped into the country into New York City. Right. And they're going nuts because they can't afford to house them or pay for them or, or mm -hmm. take care of them. And they're taking all the hotels and then they're moving them into this, I don't know, some freaking ice skating rink or roller, roller park or something, hockey fields right. or something. And the people are finally getting ticked off. They're killing our economy with this. And uh, and that's why with Trump, when he said, and we'll put the wall up and then we'll put a gates on it, you know, and you come in illegal. Because I, right. I, if the guys come in and they're skilled, uh, I'll pay them the same wage I pay anybody else. Right. And uh, if they're unskilled, I'll pay them the same wage as anybody else. But I want them to come in, but I want to be able to compete right. equally with them mm -hmm. and uh, fairly. And I don't want to I don't want the people who work for me to end up not being able to own a house or a decent set of wheels. Right. And uh, right. uh, and, uh, uh, and so then what do you say in, in the song? He talks about going home and drinking. If, mm -hmm. I, if I if I cut that part right, so that's what people do. They get depressed and they go home and maybe start drinking and and because their expectations and they're losing their hope, and uh, uh, and and this is up to us. And one more thing up to us is the American people to stand up and uh, like he's doing. Praise God and uh, and let our voices be heard. Yep. All right, guys. If you like this one, comment down below, like and subscribe, and see you guys on the next one.